Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Willards with Willard Photography and today I'm in the southwest. I'm about 30 miles north of um, Monument Valley and we're heading up another 30 miles to Natural Bridges National Monument. It's amazing. This is Moki Dugway. It's this narrow switchback road that makes it up to the top of this this mountain, this cliff, and the views are phenomenal. <laughs> this is awesome. There's a couple of viewpoints. This viewpoint here is um, Muli Point. It's just incredible to be able to see the whole valley floor from from up here. Let's keep driving. There's a whole bunch of uh, things I want to show you in this video. And yeah, let's go. I wanted to interrupt this video here real quick because I don't know if you noticed or not, but there's issues with the audio. And that's because for the last year and a half, I've been using this Tascam audio recorder and it records everything externally. The camera, when you have wind, you can hear, that's all you hear is the wind noise. And being out and about, you get a lot of wind. So usually I record everything externally and then tied it together in the video, but the microphone fell apart. The wires inside it, I must have pulled it or something and I didn't realize it until much later this day. So for now, I'm gonna try to do the best I can with what I have, with the audio I have, something that was saved on camera. And if not, I'll just try to do some voiceover and see if I could get that uh, fixed somehow. <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to explain that and now let's get back to the video. So here we are at Natural Bridges National Monument. There's three giant bridges here and it is really cool. We're at 6,500 feet above sea level in what's called Cedar Mesa stuck here by the rocks. Today it's pretty cold. I don't think it's gonna get above freezing. <laughs> My fingers are numb. But it's a beautiful blue sky, clear day. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> the road is only a nine mile loop and there's viewpoints so you can go in and look at the, the bridges. You don't have to hike a lot if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna show you the bridges and some of the, the best views from here. The first bridge in the list is called Sipapu Bridge. Sipapu, I'm really not sure how to pronounce it. There is a trail that goes down to the base of the bridge so you can get a much better perspective. The trail is only about a half a mile uh, each way and a 500 foot elevation gain. When you're hiking it, it feels a lot longer and a lot steeper. That might just be due to the fact that we had 6,000 feet elevation in this park. But it is an incredible, time the the views are amazing and it is just a great experience you have to climb down some ladders climb back up the ladders you'll get to see some amazing rock formations climbing down uh, it, it's just a great way to spend an hour or two within this hike the opening of this bridge is 220 feet tall by 268 feet wide Back there behind me in that cliff, there's a dwelling similar to this one. Just hundreds of feet off the ground. It's awesome. <laughs> I 
It's crazy to think somebody could build something like that. next bridge is Kachina Bridge and it's a little bit smaller. Again, the viewpoint is just a paved trail. It's easy access. Anybody can do it. The walk to Kachina Bridge is a paved trail and it's 600 feet long and there's a 60 foot elevation change. The bridge itself has a height of 201 feet and a span of 204 feet across. This next bridge is the last one, or watch them all, or something. And it's the easiest to get to uh, of all three. So, of course, I'm gonna have to go that way. This Owachamo bridge is the smaller of the three. It stands 106 feet tall, and it has a span of 180 feet. The most difficult thing to do here is show scale and show size. If you're into hiking, you can do the full loop trail. This trail visits all three bridges and it's a 12 mile hike. It's primitive and strenuous, but the views are incredible. This is simply just a nice quiet place with interesting Native American history surrounded by amazing natural features. You can spend a few hours or a few days if you prefer. There is camping available year round with a max RV length of 26 feet. Just down the road from Natural Bridges, there's a, another attraction that I've been meaning to come to for a long time. And I think today's the day. There's not very easy. The maps don't tell you where you're going. A quick Google search would tell you that the house on fire is 22 miles away from Natural Bridges National Monument. But this is incorrect. If you zoom into the map, you will see that there is a short hike, but that is across the other side of the canyon and getting down there is extremely difficult so instead just head down the road just about a half a mile more and you'll find arch canyon road you'll find the trailhead for mule canyon and that is where you will begin your hike to the house on fire it's about one mile from that trailhead and by the way i know my audio sounds different that's because i just broke my my microphone in the car <laughs> so we're just going to go with the audio off the camera here for now but anyway, I'm gonna keep hiking. It's about a mile hike each way, and I'll show you what that looks like. And this is the house on fire. It's a cliff dwelling Kiva thing built into the rock here and it's just cool looking and I'll show you why it's called the house on fire here in a second you can see what's inside I don't have a flashlight but I think the camera can do pretty well in low light so the roof of the structure looks like flames and when the sun goes down behind the below the tree line I should be able to get a good picture and show you exactly what I mean. And this was from the Pueblo Native Americans, the Pueblo Indians that lived here from 2,500 years ago all the way up to 700 years ago. Kind of cool to see the, the ruins of a civilization of Rome that lived in this area. It is crazy. That was it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave you with a couple more pictures and 
just a little bit more of the ride, I guess, because it was beautiful. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Next week's video, we change locations, I drink a cup of coffee, and we explore some incredible locations here in the American Southwest.